of the competition. There's the result of the women's 100 metres tactical technical masterpiece from Zoe Hobbs, 11-17. Bree Masters with a strong finish coming through for second place. Well, Toby Amazon has been lighting up the track this year, 12.40. She is the world leader. That was in Kingston. Oh, what a shame Tarada does not start. The Japanese veteran, age of 34, who left athletics for touch rugby, oh, sorry, sevens rugby, deciding not to start, so lane four will be empty. 12.77 is the required mark for the Olympic Games. 29 women coming into this weekend had secured that. 15 had gone inside 12.6. Fukubi will go in three. Asian junior champion 10 years ago. She's got faster with every race this year. Started off with a modest 13.28. She's now into the 12.90 territory. That's Tanaka, Yumi Tanaka. Six is Hannah Jones, the Australian. He's run uh, inside 24 seconds for the 200. PB on the Gold Coast at 12.91. It's quite an open race, this one. But for Kubi, the national champion a couple of years ago, will start third from the right-hand side. Michelle Harrison, semi-finalist in Eugene, three times a national champion. She's been in a Commonwealth final. She was sixth in Baton Rouge with a 12.9. 11.36 flat, 100 PB. So it's been a good day for the Australians so far as the cameras focus in once again on the 28-year-old former Asian junior champion. He has had some good runs this year, but this is a different class. Wu of China will be in six. She's close to PB shape. She won Osaka in 12.86. World University Games silver last year. Oh. Tanaka is fourth on the Japanese all-time list. So, from the inside, Greta Kurekes, 31 years of age, seven times a national indoor champion. Season's best, that 13.26 in Hungary on the 12th of May. Yuki Amatsu, sub-13 last September, just inside 13.2 this year. Now, Meiko Fukubi, 12.92. She's been quicker with every race so far this year. Four is empty. Then to Yumi Tanaka, Asian Games bronze medalist last year. She ran that 12.94 in the heats in Osaka on the 12th of May. Yanni Wu of China, could she trouble her PB? She's not far away. Michelle Harrison, the Canadian, the former World Championship semi-finalist last year and in Eugene. Then to... Mizumi Aoki, second on the Japanese all-time list. 30 years of age now, twice an Asian bronze medalist. And Hannah Jones, a nice smile for the cameras. What a good day it's been for the Australians so far. Could she trouble that 12.91 PB on the Gold Coast? Karekes in one, Omatsu in two, Fukubi in three. Four is empty, remember. Tanaka, five. Wu, six. Harrison, seven in your picture there. Aoki in eight and Jones nearest the camera in nine. World-class facilities, great crowd, big opportunity for one of these women to take a Continental Tour gold victory. It's wide open, this one. It's there for the taking. The women's 100-metre hurdles. They're away first time. Good running by Tanaka in the middle, coming under pressure from Wu of China. 
And it's the Chinese athlete pulling away here. Good win from Wu with Tanaka in second, 12.81. That's an improvement by a few hundredths from her time in Osaka. Came through really well in the second half of the race. Excellent start from Yumi Tanaka. But it's Wu of China who takes that opportunity to shine here in the Olympic Stadium in Tokyo. Wu looks de delighted with that. It's gone down to 12.80, so that will be a new season's best. And Tanaka holding on for 12.90. It was a good start for, start for Mako for Kobe of Japan as well in lane three. He's living with Tanaka, but it was around about this stage, around the halfway mark, when Wu Yani of China pulled away. Great dip as well. He really committed to that as part of her race. It was a couple of strides off the last flight and then launched herself into the dip. She didn't quite need to because it was a big margin of victory in sprinting terms, a whole tenth for the Chinese athlete. Good running. And just three hundredths outside the Olympic qualification time. 